Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Crypto Explorer. In today's video, I will be going over Kudo Miner. So a couple days, or probably a week ago, I got a message on Twitter about Kudo Miner and um, decided to check them out just to see what it's all about. And um, they're basically similar to NiceHash or Honey Miner, where it, they have this all-in-one software that you use you download, you sign up, and then what it does is that it automatically um, mines the cryptocurrency that is most um, optimal for whatever hardware you have. So um, they have a website here at kudominer.com. Um, right now, um, they have a beta program where you can get a 0% mining fee for three months, and you can see there's about two days left to um, sign that up. And over here, um, they give you 10,000 Satoshis for being an early adopter. But let's just go right through it. Here's your website. You can see uh, the software interface. And I'll go over installing it. They do have a Telegram. And over here, you can actually choose what kind of cryptocurrency you will earn. So um, there's more than one coin. Um, so like Honey Miner, you can only do Bitcoin at, at the moment. But um, with this one, you can do um, Ethereum, Bitcoin. I, th I think I believe there, there's there's multiple. Um, let's see, and we'll, I'll go over through it with um, when I do the install video because you can choose what what kind of payout you want. Okay, let's go down some more, and you can control the usage. So there's tweaking within the software, like you can just say GPU, no more than a. 80% as you can see over here CPU can have it to mine when only it's idle etc so um, yeah so here's the fee over here you can see um, I guess when th this uh, promotional period ends there's a 5% mining fee and then there's a 1.5% to withdraw to an external wallet. So, but anyway, you can check more them out here at their website. Um, with that being said, I'm going to try and install them on my mining rig. I do have an AMD mining rig. I did test their software out on my gaming PC, which runs a NVIDIA 1070. And, but I did, haven't tried it on my mining rig yet. So let's get to the mining rig. So uh, here we are at the mining rig. Um, as you can see, I have Honey Miner installed, but I did turn it off. I'm just going to leave it. I'm kind of curious to see um, if there's any um, uh, conflicts between the two. I have the software that I downloaded over here. Let's install it by double clicking. Click I agree. And that was pretty much it. Wow, that was pretty quick. Okay, now software installation is done. I'm just going to log in with my account that I've already created. Now, oddly enough, this there's no password to sign in. Um, I did create an account. It, well, let's just go here first. If you click create an account, it takes you to their, to their website where you can... Uh, make an account and uh, I guess see your stats and all that stuff but with the software all you do is enter your username and then click go and then you can see your balance I guess you can't do anything outside of mine maybe that's the reason why there's no um, software I mean no um, password for it so let's get started. Um, before I start the miner, let's just go through the menu. Over here, you can uh, see if you're an early adopter, you get these benefits, your stats, referrals, so you can invite others and then you can earn Satoshis. So when you click on devices, it takes you to the website. And then if you click on transactions, it takes you to the website. And then 
from there. And we'll, I'll go over the website later. Let's close this up. So let's uh, start the miner and see what we have. Oh, actually, uh, before we start the miner, you can see over here the settings. You can make it CPU en enabled. I'm going to turn off CPU. Uh, the CPU on here is just a is a um, is is a Celeron, so it's not really worth it. And I, I don't want the system to lock up if it's mined with the CPU. And over here, you can mine only while idle, launch on startup, schedule use. So I'm just going to leave it at the default. And over here, you can see your payout coin. So the miner will take some time to um, calculate um, what is the best algorithm to mine uh, for with your hardware, and then it will give you this estimate of what is your um, earning potential daily and then monthly. So as you can see, with uh, six RX 580s, I'm looking at around two dollars seventy one cents a day, and eighty one dollars and forty two cents a month. And what it's doing is it is mining Ethereum Classic for, for uh, seeing that um, if you put it on auto, this is what it's going to it's going to pick either one of these two. So these are the two coins that it thinks it's the most profitable for you to mine at, the, at this time. It's Ethereum Classic. And then this is the payout that I'm going to be um, getting. So I'm going to start it and just see what happens. And then get the hash per seconds just to see what we're uh, getting on here. Now with um, Awesome Miner and just the standard Ethereum um, mining, I get roughly about a hundred eighty-four to eighty-six mega hashes per second. So it'd be kind of interesting to see um, what this will produce to see if if it's gonna take advantage of what's been already optimized. So you can see here it's going up to 174 and um, I'm just going to let it go and uh, be back. So I let the miner run for a few minutes and it didn't seem to hit anything over uh, 180 mega hashes per second using ethash. I even uh, did a manual selection to Ethereum instead of Ethereum Classic just to see if that made any difference at all. So right now I'm going to stop the miner. And then I'm going to run Awesome Miner just to see what kind of results I get. So let's pull up Awesome Miner. And it's going to automatically mine Ethereum. There, there you go. You see, there's a big discrepancy here. I'm doing 187 mega hashes per second mining Ethereum. 188 to 89. I'm going to stop it right now and then I'm just going to um, restart the Kudo miner. Now of course the the hashes per second um, I, I think it, the discrepancy is just a little bit too much at, 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 um, at around 10 mega hashes per second so let's give it one more try. So we're up to 172. And it's going, but definitely a big di discrepancy. Now, keep in mind, this is not um this is I I I'm, this is not their full release, I'm assuming. So there could be um, this could be an early um, software, um, so it, a lot of things could change with it. So I'm hoping the the performance will improve with a software update. Because um, right now, like I said earlier, the discrepancy in mega hashes with mining with the Kudo miner and just doing a straight up mining with Awesome Miner. Um, is just it's it's too big but uh, with that being said um, let's look at other aspects of kudo miner um, mainly the the back end so when you click on devices it takes you to their back end which is basically their website and you can see um, you can keep track of 
the different uh, miners that you have the software running on and like you see right now this computer one computer that I'm doing the this recording on is paused because I'm using it and then I have my laptop and then my mining rig as well where it's running uh, let's click on dashboard so dashboard pretty similar to what you see here so it gives you some stats on your earnings day month year so we were just here at miners transactions you can see what you've earned and over here you can click to withdraw your funds and so right now it's only in Bitcoin but um, if you look to their website over here um, you should be able to change your preferred payout coin um, right now it doesn't seem possible but let's go over here so here on their website you can see it, you know they plan to pay you in multiple currencies you should be able to choose but at this point it's not available in the beta so that's probably something that is on the way um, so right now we can only do it in Bitcoin and then you can see the fees etc which is kind of odd because I thought it would be 0% but uh, maybe I just got to read up on it but that's how you, you put your Bitcoin address and there you can withdraw your funds now there's way too little so I'll probably test it when there's a little bit more to test with users you can invite other users and over here um, settings basically username preferred currency you can choose either or and then mining so this mining thing, this is kind of neat. I, I guess if you have a website, um, it's sort of a way to, um, it's kind of, I'm not sure w w what it is, but it, it, it seems like maybe you can have a website that you put this thing here and people can download it and then it mines to a fund of yours, I, I guess. Uh, not sure but uh, interesting uh, to say the least and then over here you can choose the currency type and then over here another interesting um, part it says manage organizations so I guess here you can create an organization I've not tested this yet but like I said this is all in its beta um, it is um, still being tested so as you can see in their uh, little um, this little part of their website what is the beta program it's just to try out the software let let them know what you think and help them refine it for when it's uh, actually released anyway um, if you are interested I have links to uh, Kudo Miner in the description and you can check them out. I'm going to keep an eye on them, see what they, they do. And when their final software is released, I'll probably do another video. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.